Hey guys, this is Chris with Run Repeat, and I'm here today with my review of the Brooks Levitate 2. So with the Levitate 2, Brooks is really seeking a neutral, high energy return road shoe. Um, the shoe has an eight millimeter drop and weighs in at just over 11 ounces for the men's. Uh, so some of the new features in the second version are the Achilles guard, uh, the heel collar wrap, and then the crystal rubber outsole. Um, so the, the shoe is really you know, good as a daily trainer, kind of day in, day out, using it for uh, whatever workout you want to throw at it. Um, really at a high level, the, the positives for me, it's extremely comfortable. It's well cushioned and you know, extremely comfortable right out of the box. Um, kind of the downside with some of that cushion uh, is the weight of the shoe. It's a little bit heavy. Uh, so for some of those speed workouts, your tempo runs, and even on, on some of the longer runs, you can kind of feel the, the weight of the shoe slowing you down a little bit. So that's kind of the, the, the overall assessment there. But let's break down the shoe uh, a little bit more detail and uh, let's look at the different aspects of it. Straight out of the box, the shoe was very comfortable due to the midsole and the upper with very little break-in required. The shoe fits right to size and has a very roomy toe box. The one downside I found was the collar was a little bit insecure, which may lead you to want to over tie it. So just something to be aware of when you're lacing these up. When we start talking about the outsole, um, really the, the design there kind of fits the overall theme of that high energy return. Um, and I would definitely think that this is a positive aspect of the shoe, uh, kind of like I've touched on. It's a little bit of a heavier shoe than in a normal daily trainer, but with some of the design, especially in the, the midsole, as well as on the outer here, um, it helps with that responsiveness, the high energy return as you're running. Um, so it kind of offsets the weight somewhat. So overall, pretty good design here on the outsole. I would say the, the downside here is doesn't really hold, hold up too well on wet surfaces. So I noticed a little bit of slippage there. Um, so it's just something to keep in mind if you run a lot uh, on wet surfaces. So the midsole of the Levitate 2 makes use of DNA AMP, which Brooks markets as its most responsive midsole that they sell. And during my training runs, I really felt that this was you know, a big selling point of the shoe. Um, you know, the midsole is really responsive, kind of gives you a you know, spring to your step while you're running. Um, and at the same time, it provides a good level of cushioning. So you can see I've pulled the uh, insole out right here. Um, and you can see the whole theme of the shoe here, that neutral uh, energy return shoe. And you can see right in here, what that looks like as it's pulled out. But overall, uh, yeah, midsoles, you know, a very good, you know, mix of comfort and responsiveness. And this is definitely a, a high point of the shoe. So let's move on to the, the upper. And this is definitely a very nice point of the, the Levitate 2. Uh, so the Flyknit upper, it's very soft, extremely comfortable, um, while at the same time, you know, it's pretty sturdy as, you know, pretty thick and so it keeps your your foot in place keeps it from sliding around which is definitely nice um, another nice feature that helps with the the comfort and the cushion is around the heel um, so there's some extra cushioning here you can see uh, in the heel and then also just kind of around the top of the heel you'll see the kind of the extra cushioning there um, and immediately as you put on the shoe, you can kind of feel that. You feel the extra like padding back there. It feels really nice and definitely helps uh, to prevent any irritation back in the heel area. Um, so also with this, the tongue is really padded. Um, so that's kind of a nice feature as well. So very comfortable uh, when it comes to the upper. Uh, the One of the downsides though, and I mentioned that uh, it helps keep your foot in place just so it's not sliding around. One of the downsides is that due to the thickness, it's not as breathable as it, as it really looks. Um, you can see all the holes here and you would think that it would be a very breathable shoe. I didn't quite find that to be the case. So sometimes in hot weather, uh, my foot would get a little bit overheated, a little warm. Um, so that would be the only real downside that I see with the upper. So to wrap things up, overall, you know, very impressed with the shoe. Uh, some of the high points. Uh, number one, definitely the the comfort of the shoe. Very comfortable. A lot of cushion in there, so just you know, feels really good while you're running. 
Uh, number two is just the amount of energy return. You know, it's a well-designed shoe. Uh, one of the negatives is, is the weight, of course, um, but I feel like with the design of the shoe, it somewhat offsets that just a little bit. Um, and the third positive for me was the durability. I put over 300 miles on mine and still going strong. So, you know, definitely something that you'll get you know, good value out of them. Uh, the negatives, like I mentioned, the weight, a little bit heavy for a daily trainer. So I found myself, you know, for some of my speed workouts, some of my longer runs, you know, found myself reaching for maybe a different pair of shoes uh, over the Levitate 2. And the last negative was, uh, on the outsole to some of the slippage on wet services. But overall, I feel like this is a good shoe and can find a place in uh, any runner's uh, cycle of shoes. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out the other videos on the Run Repeat channel, as well as my full written review for the Brooks Levitate 2 on the website.